just get little pieces that happen to be preserved. What's the probability that this beach gets preserved here? Sea level goes down, it gets eroded away. Sea level comes up, it goes way back over there. So, but what Exxon said was that they thought they saw a bed right here, a, a, a boundary that was uh, because their unconformity happened. Their unconformity is everywhere, and and so they have to find them because the boss said, "You go out there to La Jolla, you can have fun, but you better come back with some unconformity." <laughs> so they picked that. Now I've been there with these guys walking along, and they'll say, "Yeah, it's that boundary right there." But if you follow it along, it migrates. And they'll say, no, it's where that pink bed is. See that pink bed? Oh, yeah. That's where it is. Well, you follow the pink bed, and you go down there, and the pink bed is lower. And you go a little farther, the pink bed's higher. Right. Yeah, I can't do it. So I'm not convinced that there's a major surface in here. I, I like it better that this is just a transition from a, a, a more muddy lagoon, maybe to a more sandy bay, getting a little closer to an inlet, a little closer to the beach higher energy. I'm happier with that. Now the problem here is we never see the bottom. We don't know how it starts. We never see the top because it places the things in those hills. So we have to deal with what we have. Now if you go farther south from here, these, these beds disappear. And I'm going to show you how they do it. And that is significant and important. It's a big whopper that they see all over the world at about 49 those dates can be adjusted all the time, but about 50 million years ago, they see that surface down there above that the rock in several different kinds, and it's dated at about 50 million. That's a strong influence that the sea level drop, the global sea level drop, and conformity, sea level rise, that's what we have. So the reason that we took you through all of this and looked at the stuff on page 8, 9, remember? Oyster beds, closer bedded sequences, those are little thin ones with a lot of the organic matter, finding upward sequence, lamb scrams, right, we just talked about, and some thinner cross bedded sands, that's a big thick one, like up at the Tory. No. And here's a little model down here. This would be the Belmar Lagoon. This would be the Torrey Beach, or closer to the beach. As sea level rises, you get more and more of these big sandy beds coming in over the top. More and more sandy beds coming in So the reason we went through all of that is to give you a feeling of all the different criteria that this is just like the inner tidal, a very, very shallow subtidal. But if, if, if we're lucky, right down here we're going to see some mud cracks, some desiccation cracks. It was exposed. And a little farther down, I'm going to show you trees growing in place. So at times this little Laguna Bay went fresh and the trees grew there. Still in the Del Mar formation. You're right at sea level. And then we're going to cross the surface and the world is going to change. Everything's going to be different. But you won't appreciate that until you've done this work, which you've done now. We'll go down there and we'll see how it's different. Well, John, before we go, if, if you were to come here, know as much as you know now, and you were the first geologist to arrive on this coast, would one way out of this Del Mar Torrey quandary, just call it all the same formation, just give it one name, say it varies in the amount percent of sand beds and mud beds? Absolutely. The reason we have a Del Mar and Torrey here is because somebody did that. Somebody did what? Somebody they up there them. called that yeah. Torrey? Yeah. No, somebody down out. there? And somebody went there. down to Del Mar and they said, oh, look, there's a great bed of it, bed of it down there. Somebody came up into the park and they said, oh, we'll call this Torrey. And so you stuck with it. Now, if you want to, you can erase it and start over. But you make a lot of people mad, especially if they're still alive. Well, if they're the ones who named it. Oh, Del Mar, we have all that literature that yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's not progress.